As the community of Point Siena prepares for the funerals of three children and their grandmother killed in a crash, the county is taking steps they hope will prevent future tragedies. News 6 reporter Catherine Silver is in Osceola County looking at the immediate safety measures being installed and the plan to get results throughout the neighborhood. As the memorial for the victims killed in Sunday's crash continues to grow, so do the calls for change. And now the county tells us they aren't just listening to this community, they're taking action, starting with installing a four-way stop here at this intersection. A message board warning drivers about a new traffic pattern at San Miguel Road and Laurel Avenue is the first sign of what's being done to make this intersection safer. September 14th, there will be a four-way stop, and it's just the start of the county's plan to get results. Friday, the sheriff's office posted signs on every corner, their message to drivers. We have actually conducted over 31,000 traffic stops. We really focus on aggressive drivers throughout the county. We're going to continue. We've done a lot of zero tolerances in that area. At a roundtable discussion, Commissioner Brandon Arrington spoke for the first time publicly about Sunday's crash and the county's focus on meeting the transportation needs of Point Siena as a whole. In regards to Point Siena Parkway 429 I-4 connector, it's of mass importance not only to change the commute and the opportunities of the folks of Point Siena. Do you feel like they're finally paying attention? And that's what we needed a long time ago because all of us feel that way collectively as a community, like we don't matter. Michelle Torres was one of the first people who rushed to help Sunday. She believes speed bumps could have saved lives. He would not have been able to send that car flying. He would not have hit it at a devastating speed where those children didn't have a chance. In the aftermath, there is anguish and now action. It makes this community hope they will not be forgotten. Two weeks from now, no one will be talking about it, but our community will be. We'll still be scarred for, for life. I know this will affect me for the rest of my life. The county says they are expanding their focus beyond this point to make sure that the roadways here are safer. Part of their plan includes assessing other intersections in this area to see if improvements should be made there as well. In Osceola County, I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.